have have had pity parties, and woe unto me, and has, has just went left. So she didn't recognize Jesus. She's so tore up. He's behind her, and she don't even. She looking for. He told you he was gonna raise up. Why are you looking for him to be stretched out? And why would you ever believe that somebody has taken him away when he he never said that? He never prophesied in three days they're gonna take me away. Verse 13 again. And they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? She saith unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. That word know is important. Because in Hosea 4, 6, 4 and 6, he says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. She's failing to understand and know what the scripture said concerning him, and that he's a God that cannot lie. In that particular moment, and even in verse 9 it says, For as yet they knew not the scripture. They are failing to know what the Bible says concerning Jesus Christ. When you don't know what the scripture says concerning Jesus Christ, you were lost. So she's so messed up that she don't even see him. And 14 it said, and when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing. The scripture let us know she saw him and knew not that it was Jesus. Once again, to, to know and knew. She knew not that. Why didn't she recognize Jesus? Because she's so tore up and her mind is so made up that they have taken him that she's not even realizing what he said that he was going to do. Verse 15. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? So now he's talking to her. She's supposing him to be the gardener. So not only does she not recognize him, now she don't even recognize his voice. Two things that she should have known beyond a shadow of every doubt is recognizing Jesus and his voice, his voice print. All the times he has spoke to her, and you got to know and believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that Jesus never looked like anybody else because there was no sin found in him. He was the, the perfect Passover lamb to atone for the sins of the world. There was no sin in him. So you can't tell me that he looked like everybody else. And not only that, the Bible will let us know that he just rose from the dead, so she don't recognize him. And then she hears his voice. He's speaking. She don't understand. She don't hear his voice. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She supposing him to be the gardener, saith unto him, Sir, if thou have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. So she talking to Jesus and asking Jesus, where, where have you laid Jesus? <laughs> He's like, what, what, you, what you mean, where have I laid myself and where have I taken myself? 16, he's going to put her out of her misery. Jesus saith unto her, Mary, she turned herself and saith unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master, Jesus saith unto her, touch me not. For I am not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascended unto my Father, and your Father, and to my God, and your God. 18. Mary Magdalene came, told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, that he had spoken these things unto her. Verse 19. Then the same day at evening, being the first day, of the week when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews came Jesus and stood in the midst of them and said peace be unto you peace be unto you so it's so important family as we go forward towards the end of this 2020 and head into 2021 that we understand that no weapon that is formed against us shall ever prosper and every tongue that rises up against us in judgment we have the power to condemn it we need to understand that God is, is God Jesus is Lord everything that he said he was going to do he did so our, our reaction and our response to the things of this world is knowing that he would never leave us, nor would he ever forsake us. If he said he was going to do it, he is going to do it. Too many people are focusing on the problems of the world and not the promises of God. 
we need to be mindful of the fact that our God cannot lie. It is impossible, impossible for God to lie. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this word. Who have taken our faith. Nobody can take our faith. Nobody can take our Jesus. Nobody can remove our promises. There were things that you have sealed in stones. You have wrote what was on stones on our hearts, Father God. You have sealed it with the power of the Holy Spirit in the inside of us, Father God. And you let us know that greater is you in us than we that is in this world. And we are in the world. We're not of the we're not a product of the world, Father God. So our mentality needs to be different, Father God. I hear by way of the Holy Spirit, uh, Romans 12, Father God, where we need to be transformed and renewed. Some people just need to change the way they think and the way they understand your word, Father God. For some reason or another, people are going to the sepulcher still looking for you, Lord Jesus. Some people are going like, is he here? Is he? He's not there. It's been over 2,000 years, Father God, that you have rose from, you fulfilled your word, and you atoned for the sins of the entire world. You gave us an opportunity, Father God, to have the ability to repent and seek forgiveness. We thank you, Father God, for your anointing that destroys each and every yoke. We thank you for the name of Jesus, Father God, the written word. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank and praise you, Father God, for, for friends and family and people to encourage us in the word that we can come together, we can rejoice, and we can praise, and we can worship understanding it's about you and it's not about us but you have not left us Father God without hope we thank you Father God in the name of Jesus Father God oh Lord have mercy so many people have been complaining about this year Lord Jesus so many people talking about how things are not the same and this that and the other and all these other I'm not falling into that I, I praise you Father God I give you adoration and worship and honor and glory Father God in the name of Jesus Continually teach me and us your ways, Father God, so that we can please you, Father God. When a, when a man's ways please the Lord, Father God, you, you even make our enemies, Lord Jesus. That's what the word says. You, we, 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 we in this ministry want to just please you, Father God, with the things you've called and created us to do. Now I thank you and I praise you and I pray the word fell on good ground and it would be watered, Father God, and you would give the increase. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. If you ever want to get in contact with our ministry, feel free to call us at 614-847-2057 or by way of the internet at www.teamjesususa.com. May God bless you and heaven's face continually and always smile upon you.